Depressed and suicidal is how George Zimmerman's girlfriend, Samantha Scheibe, allegedly described the 30-year-old to CNN affiliate WKMG in a series of text messages and phone calls over the course of several weeks during a negotiation for an interview. WKMG is reporting Scheibe told them Zimmerman, quote, spiraled into what she calls a very deep depression in the months after his acquittal, spending, quote, days in bed, refusing to get up and refusing to take his medication. But when CNN made contact with Shibe's mother, Hope Mason, she told us in a text message those reports were, quote, lies, adding, quote, it's the media, it's all hearsay until she speaks publicly. That's what it is. On Monday, Shibe called police and accused Zimmerman of threatening her with a gun and pushing her out of her Apopka, Florida home during an argument. Police arrested Zimmerman and Monday night, while he sat in a jail cell, his wife Shelley used the opportunity to serve him with divorce papers. A judge set Zimmerman's bond at $9,000 and told him to stay away from Shibe and firearms. The judge also ordered Zimmerman to wear a monitoring device and stay in Florida. I just saw that look of, he, he seemed very despondent. I just took it upon my own initiative to say, hey, why don't I do something nice? Frank Taffy, a former neighbor and longtime supporter, says he paid just under $1,000 to help Zimmerman post bond. George, anything to say? Hours later, Zimmerman walked out of the John E. Polk Correctional Facility with a bail bondsman. Did you have any contact after you posted the bond with no. Zimmerman? No. Do you know he didn't call you to thank you for it? No, he had, I, I know he's very grateful. Shibe and her mother have declined CNN's repeated requests for an interview. George Zimmerman's location is still unknown. As far as we know, he has not commented on the allegations published by WKMG. The Department of Justice has not made a decision yet on whether to file federal civil rights charges against George Zimmerman in connection with the shooting death of Trayvon Martin. But officials have said a decision could come soon.